What's up, guys? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are getting on the inaugural celebration. Inaugural feeling of the carnival celebration. Let's go. Bro, I am so excited. But that's not the only special thing that we're doing today. This cruise is extra special to us because it is our first cruise where we have a sponsorship. Like full video series sponsorship. We are so, so excited to be working with Stateroom Statements for this cruise. If you guys don't know who Stateroom Statements is, they are a clever cruise gear company that handles magnets, t-shirts, mugs, all of that. Pretty much anything that you need for your cruise packing list, for decor, whatever you want, they have it. But honestly, more on that later, it's about to rain and we need to get on this ship. Thank you, Stateroom Statements, for being our very first sponsor of the Travel Squad and we are about to enjoy this cruise. All right, you ready to get on that beauty right there? Yes, please. Yes, let's get out of this rain because I can feel the wind picking up and it's starting to get colder. What's up? You want to know what's really cool? What? This new terminal. That Yo, I know. Honestly, I kind of like, might like it better than the Orlando one. It's like, I don't know, it's brand new. I wasn't expecting it. It has like four different stations on each side to take pictures. Yeah, and then over here, they have like an LED screen at the ceiling that like projects all this different types of stuff. I did not know this was a thing. Like, I didn't know this was happening. This is brand new. I think people saw it for like the first time yesterday. Yeah, they had like a little media night. So we can go take a picture. Head up there and then get on the ship. Let's go! Left or right? This side? Thumbs up, thumbs up! Oh, we're going in like in a tunnel. It kind of looks like a museum. Yeah, I can see that a little bit. All right, Laura, here we go. 50 years of fun. Ready for a fun week. Laura, like we're getting on board right now, but honestly, it's been so much more efficient than, other than like the traffic, it's been so much more efficient than Orlando's terminal. It wasn't bad at all. And do you feel that? Air conditioning. It actually works. So what are you wearing? I'm wearing Dior. I'm kidding, it's Shein. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? This looks nice. A little romper action. Thank you. What are you wearing? So, I'm wearing matching set Kenny Flowers. Laura didn't want to match me today. Got the matching set, ready to get on board. My shirt's coming undone, which is a little weird, but hey, it's cruise day, baby. Looking fresh. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. And we're fully aboard. I'm home. We are officially on board the carnival celebration. It smells like a new car. It really does smell new. Laura gave me a flat tire. But look, Laura, this is what you've been waiting for all your life. The Latitudes bar. On that side used to be Fortune Teller, yeah, but now they the changed Mardi it over. Yeah, it was Fortune Teller. I already know Latitudes is gonna be my favorite bar on the ship. Really? I don't mean to interrupt. So over there was the Fortune Teller bar. And then here is Latitudes. It's kind of like a, a airport theme. It's kind of like Laura's dream come true. So they have the, the destinations on this side, but I think over here they have, oh, it's not really showing, but right here is all the tickers and it just changes and stuff like that. And then on here is like where MSC is and it's like LEDs and all that type of stuff. And then right here is vacation first. vibes. <laughs> what is up? Ooh, Laura, look at this. They have like little cuffy areas this for us to chill. Cute. Because on the Mardi Gras, they didn't have any seating like this. Let's have. So we can find like a little spot and, and like kick it. Some fun. Let's have some fun. Sis. What's up, guys? Editor Fane here. Live from the celebration, baby. I'm just here like editing right now, obviously, because I'm Editor Fane. With all the excitement, I noticed that we forgot to say if you guys are new here and enjoying the content or you want to see some more content from the Carnival Celebration, make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe come check it out it's free and also you can always unsubscribe so why why not just try it out this little little trial period see if you like it or not no hard feelings but if you really want to get into it go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about but on all serious guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video now back to the video <laughs> all right laura i got us a little surprise i kind of want to like turn this cruise up a little bit so we're here in our room but before we go in our room and rip the paper open and do all that type of stuff look at this so i kind of want to see what happens and spice up this cruise a little bit okay so i'm gonna take this oh god let's go baby upside down pineapple um. You know, just leave it. Let's go. Let's just see what happens if someone knocks on our door. We live our best lives. Hey, come on. <laughs> come on. Let's side up. It says it. Do the honors, baby. All right. Here we go. Balcony, baby. 
It smells so new in here. <laughs> it smells like new, new, it new. It's like a new car. I, Mardi Gras didn't even smell like this. Time for a room tour? Yeah. Well, hello there. Welcome back to my villa. We are on the carnival celebration today. I said celebration. <laughs> celebration today. Come on in and let me show you around. So as always, to start off, we are going to show you guys the bathroom. This is like a half bath. All right, so come on in. It's There's literally no space. Like, I can sit on the toilet and like... The shower is right there. I was watching JJ's video and they were right. Like there's no, there's no room for activities in here. I can barely film you. We have the bathroom, rainfall style shower head, the typical shampoo, shower gel, all that stuff. But there's really no frills to this. It's really, really tight. And over here, we have some storage over here. Same as, pretty much same as Mardi Gras. Gosh, everything in here smells like it's from Ikea, like brand new, like they just put this together. I mean, they kind of did just put it together. <laughs> and then more storage over here with a safe and pull out trays and a brown paper bag. For vomit. Let's hope not. <laughs> As we come into the room, we have some water bottles, some more storage in here, with some shelves. Oh, that's nice. This pretty long couch you were saying earlier. Yeah, this looks a lot larger than the Mardi Gras couch. I think maybe because like it's a bed. Yeah, it's a bed underneath it. Cool. So we have some extra rooms. They have reading lights or night lights, whatever you guys need. Some more drawers for us. And then these ottomans, or storage that you can see they have like the comforter in here, but it's also doubles as breakfast in bed. Very nice. I miss this, but back here is a fridge or a cooler. Over here they have outlets, three outlets and some new USBs. And I feel like they didn't have that on Mardi Gras where it had like two different- Look at yourself in the mirror. What? This lighting. Oh my God, he looks <laughs> like a star. Thank you, thank you. Seriously, you look beautiful there. Thank you. One major vent for the whole room, so hopefully that does a great job cleaning it off because it's like brand new. We have this queen or king bed where every, like they push the two twin beds together. Lights on the side, USBs on the side. And then as we come over to here where the balcony is, honestly, I'm more like the person likes the bed over there and the balcony over here, not like next to each other. I don't know, it just feels like it's more space in there. But we have one window and then we have this door. Oh, that's heavy. And a massive TV facing the bed. So you can just come out here and hang out like there's two chairs and a table and all that and we have a cove balcony by the yes. way on deck five yeah a little more privacy i think with the cove balcony and it's closer and, to the water yeah and it's closer to the water so we can actually hear like the water movement and all that hey Thane. what's up does this pass the cartwheel test no this does not pass the cartwheel <laughs> test at all try? It's like i feel like i can touch from side to side maybe if i like do it down this hallway right here i can probably do it uh, <laughs> no, i don't know about that Okay. And then one last thing I forgot to show you, because we're on the inaugural sailing of the celebration, we got another book. Because on Mardi Gras, we got a book, and now we got a celebration book, I believe. Yep, Carnival Celebration, 50th Birthday Tribute. So this is pretty. Yes. I like this. And then actually, like, oh! This would be good. Oh, look at that. It's double-sided. Are you ready to decorate our door? We can finally do it. Finally! First time ever. I cannot wait. Stateroom statements. Definitely heard our cry on the Disney cruise and we want to decorate our door. On the next cruise, can we do something like this? Can we put door magnets on? Like, I feel like we see everyone with door magnets and we never do it. We've never done door magnets. I think it'd be really fun. They hooked us up, you guys. Yes. These are some of the best cruise door magnets I think I've ever seen. Yes, they're really funny and pretty much like the travel spree humor. So we have Pity the Fool. We've got Soup of the Day, which is my personal favorite. We've got the two bottle yeah. minimum suitcase. Yeah. And I'm the captain now. And then, of course, our pineapples. You guys already saw the pineapples. Those are going to be infamous, I'm sure. Let's decorate our first crude door. This looks so good. I agree. I'm obsessed. I hope no one steals any of these because these are like pretty clutch. If you guys want to cop any of these magnets, these dope okay. magnets, like, come on. Like soup of the day. We'll have some, a link down in the description down below. And on checkout, you can use Travel Spree 15 to get 15% off your purchase. All right, now that our door's done, let's go get some drinks. It's time for the soup of the day. Yes. <laughs> oh man, we forgot some. Okay, we gotta put these out too. <laughs> Quick fun fact about stateroom statements, a portion of every single purchase that they make goes to benefit cruise port cities such as Mexico, Haiti, the Bahamas, and even our favorite, Bermuda. Laura, it kind of feels like we never left. 
on, oh my gosh, I'll spray. <laughs> it kind of feels like we never left because we just got the Mardi Gras like a couple months ago and now we're in the celebration. It does feel like we never left. Like we just got off, like we just got back on after like a day or something. But we got to find our mustard drill because I don't know where it is. We're so late to our mustard. We're never, never this late. Honestly, it is kind of nice that we know this ship like front and back already so we won't get lost, but still don't know where it is. Look what I found, <laughs> the Alchemy Bar. And it's pretty much right next to my new favorite bar. Oh yeah. The one, the latitudes down there. This is so nice. Like the stained glass windows over here in the lat by the latitudes area. I don't know. I'm enjoying this a lot more than I did on Mardi Gras. Yeah, what I've noticed so far, and we haven't been on here for very long, but it already seems like a lot more spacious. Like the use of the space, they were able to do a much better job on the celebration. So it doesn't feel as like boxed in when you're walking through everything. That's true. And then like emeralds used to be over here on Mardi Gras, but now emeralds is right here. I think the food is different on this one too. Some crispy boudin balls. Of course, the first bar we go to had to be the Latitude Bar. You guys, this is why I'm excited to come on the ship. Literally, this bar, there's just something about it. I love airports. I love traveling, obviously. And this is just like the perfect theme. Let's pretend like we're about to go get on a flight to Tokyo and um, have a drink before our flight. Do you think our diamond drinks will work here? We just got them. Do you think we can use our like? Should we ask? Yeah. We're diamond on royal. Can we use our diamond drink here? Yeah, just call them up. And here are the cocktails from the Latitude Bar, if you guys are curious to see if you like any of those. And then they have some beers. Oh, they got a Stella. Nice, and sparkling wine, and then also red wine. Which drink did you order? So I asked him for something not too sweet, and he gave me a recommendation of the, I'm gonna butcher this, Capriana. Cap Capriana? How do you say it? <laughs> and then I got the Blues Blues Margarita. And then this is what Laura got right here. I unintentionally ordered this drink, which also matches my hair color. <laughs> but try your, let's see what, try your drink, try your drink. Is it better than the Alchemy Bar? Probably not. Well, it is not sweet. So I'm happy with that. It tastes like a margarita kind of, but also not. Ooh. That's strong. Also, my stomach is empty right now and I felt it go right into my stomach. Oh, geez. So. Hi, I'm Laura and this is my first drink of the day. Hi, my name is Fane and this is my first drink of the day. What is up? Thank you for coming back. This is the carnival celebration. It's first time season. for Fane's champagne shower. Yeah, we hit $100 on our super chat. So like, I'm letting Laura do this right now. The ocean's over there. That was super loud. Oh, uh, that's in my eye. Thank Revenge you. is sweet. 100%, just 100, 100%, like she got it right in my eye. Clean up, clean up, everybody, everywhere. everywhere. Clean up, clean up. Fane, do your share. Champagne showers come with champagne cleanup. Yes, we do clean up our, our messes and we don't leave them for. Make sure you get the roof. Uh, yeah, oh, you did get the roof. Laura, do you want to see something cool? Yeah. We haven't left port yet. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, look at this. 14,900. Wait for it. 15,000. Oh my God. We hit 15,000. I'm sorry, guys. I have no words. Like, I truly don't. Like, that, I, I never in a million years would have thought that we would hit that. Really? I did. I knew. I knew where we were. I knew. I knew. 100% knew. Like when we first started last year, like I thought 5,000 was massive. Like shoot, we started adventure as like 1,800. Thank you guys. It's for real. Literally every single one of you, whether you watch every day or you don't, like you all are so important. And <laughs> screw you. I'm not being sentimental anymore. I was just gonna agree with you, but geez. But thank you guys so much for helping us hit 15,000. Like we put the goal for it to be like at the end of the year, December 31st, and we hit it on our first day before we sailed away. What do you need to say now? <laughs> what are you gonna yell at me now for? I just wanna say that our goal is still to ultimately give back to all of you yes. and send you guys on your own travel spree. Quick synopsis for all the new people. Our overall goal is to have like Mr. Beast money or just like influencer money type of thing. So we can use that money, pay our bills of course, but also have enough money to like every quarter send someone 
on our travel spree. Oh, we went on the Icon of the Seas and it cost us $50,000. Get $50,000 to go on your own travel spree. Like stuff like that. So that's the ultimate goal. And why that's one of the reasons why we need our channel travel spree. It's a giveaway, pretty much travel sprees because we believe that travel opens up the mind so you can experience like different cultures and stuff like that. And you're not just like stuck to like one ideology and like your hometown and stuff like that. So that's why, that's another reason why we do this. All right, let's go get some food. Let's go get some drinks. Guys, and let's we have haven't eaten since Starbucks this morning. And that was like eight o'clock in the morning. I've had two drinks. I don't feel it yet, but I feel like it's going to just knock me over when I do. So I need to eat something. You see that guy right there holding the pizza bag like that? That's gonna be Laura tonight. And he's gonna be coming to our room. Am I right? <laughs> Got Laura's favorite cheese empanada for what, Java? Java Blue? Java Blue. I feel so much better after just that little empanada. Was the cheese empanada like, was it actually like pretty good? Oh, it was busting. <laughs> so, good news. We are starting to party off right. L's and T's at C hit 15,000. We gotta celebrate. We're doing tequila shots to start this cruise off. Huge. Yeah, these are kind of some big tequila shots. As is tradition. As is tradition, baby. Cheers. Hey, Thanksgiving week, like a champ. Have fun tonight. Cheers. No salt for me. Yeah, good luck. Cheers, baby. <laughs> I have found my favorite drink at the Latitudes Bar, and I knew this would be my favorite drink, green tea martini. If you've ever gone to Epcot and gone to the Japan Pavilion, they have this like purple sake drink, and that's what this tastes like. I got another blue margarita. Nothing special. We are finally moving away from the dock. Only about like an, an hour and a half late. Finally getting this cruise vacation started. Early, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Our first look at 820 Biscayne. Oh, look, they got a Miami sign. Ever since GTA Vice City, I've been like a huge fan of like 80s Miami. So I love the color scheme of like the pink and blue and all that. Honestly, it just feels like I'm on Mardi Gras redecorated. I think this is becoming like our tradition. I can't freaking wait. <laughs> we're at Pig and Anchor for dinner. We did this the first time we were on Mardi Gras. We're doing the same thing on Celebration. It's just so, so good. If you guys have never been to Pink and Anchor, it's pretty much the barbecue place on Carnival, Guy Fieri's, you pick whatever you want. They have a whole bunch of sauces and stuff. Sometimes they, over there, they have like a live band playing. They're not right now, obviously. I Main dining room's cool, but like this stuff, some of the best barbecue I've ever had in my life. Exactly what he said. And then next to the Pig and Anchor, we have the Summer's Landing. You guys can see the pool right now. It is open. You have Miami and the skyline back there, but it's so quiet out here. If you ever just want to come to like a quiet place at night, make sure you come to Summer Landing, either on Mardi Gras or Celebration and I guarantee you, you'll have a good time. Also, during the day, they have loungers you can put on this little ledge right here, just like that. And you can just chill and hang out and watch like the aft, the wake of the ship on that side. When the drinks turn in to dinner, we all just been hanging out bar harping and stuff like that. So we ended up going to Pig and Anchor. We have obviously Vanessa from Vacation Vibes. We have Maddie and of course, Laura. I think everyone's just like hungry and it's like super quiet right now. Hangry, not hungry, hangry. We have some woo-woo shots, yes. He got us some woo-woo shots. Yeah, it's called boom shakala shot. Woo-woo. Oh, Laura, what are you doing to me? Arriba, abajo, a sexo. A sexo? I hope I hope so. Cheers. Liddy titty, baby. That's a stronger ooh shot. Look how good this looks. Fried onions, sausage, pulled pork. I think that's brisket, thunder tots, mac and cheese. And Laura got a whole chicken over there. I didn't mean to do that. I thought it was pulled chicken. I done messed up over here. I got the hog size drink. I thought it was gonna come in a glass like that. This is like a full on For comparison. mason jar. You're gonna Are you gonna help me out with this? No. Wow, and she wants a ring. Cool thing that we found out about that, um, was it the hog drink or whatever it is? So they give you these tokens and you can take them and get pretty much another hog drink for a discounted price. I don't know, I kind of want to just keep this just to keep it. Oh, Laura, where'd you get that nice thick shirt from? I thought you were some random person. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get wrecked, baby. Where'd you, guys, where'd you get that shirt from? Wrecked, I got it from Stateroom Statements. You guys can see from the back Stateroom Statements, proud sponsor of Travel Spree. Our first and best sponsor. And you can click the link down below, stateroomstatements.com. 
use code travel 15 for 15% off your order. I have one too. It says save the animals and it's like a towel animal. This is why we love them because of how like clever they are, but like not cheesy. No, it's definitely like, not cheesy. Their humor is super clever and just like so good. They just get us, so check them out. I'm sorry, caught you in the moment. This is Laura Instagramming her drink. So we made our next stop at the Alchemy Bar because you know we cannot pass up a cucumber sunrise. We're here with Parker's on the go, and we also here with oh, C to C. Yeah, I'm gonna say CC. C to C. Parker's don't think that cucumber sunrises are good. I'm paying for them to say yes. Let's just say that. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Talents over here. Yo, I'm sorry, what? 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 I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, hold up, hold up. Travel Spree was right. It is delicious. I love cucumber sunrises now. She Thank used to be the she was wrong. <laughs> this never happened. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Oh my god. We got our very own Gubert from Guggen and Rob. This is the best part of my day. All right, guys, that is it for our day one on Carnival Celebration. Laura has her cucumber sunrise, so you know it's a good day. And her Goober. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. We also want to give a huge shout out to Stateroom Statements for sponsoring this video and all the other videos on Carnival Celebration. If you guys are curious, make sure you hit that link in the description down below. 15% off, travel free 15. Please check them out. They really came through. I'm like, yo, I need some, I need some magnets. And yeah. it came through, so. Literally. This has been a really great first day, despite yeah. some issues with the traffic when we first got here, but yeah. we have met so many of you guys on this trip and it's been incredible. But as always guys, thank you so much. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also smash that like button. Check out the links in the description if you want to become a member, it's down there too. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow for our first C-Day on Celebration. Hubert says goodnight. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs> <laughs>